Hello, my name is Dermid Campbell and I'm the developer of the video game Wired. Um, Wired is a puzzle platform game, um, but all the puzzles are built on a realistic physical model of electricity and this means that as you play it you get a pretty good understanding of how electricity behaves. Um, so in this video I'm going to just play through the game, uh, I'm going to explain about each of the puzzles and show the solutions for them, um, we're going to see the story play out as well, um, and I guess the only thing to be aware of is that the uh, professor character in the game is played by me, so our voices are going to be quite similar, um, but I'm hoping that that's not going to be confusing. All right, let's just jump in and start the game. Yes, what is it? I'm right in the middle of... It's you. I'm not ready for you. I need a bit more time. Please. gate I'll follow the path round the back of the school. You can get up to my flat from there. Don't go inside the school. You may never get out. <coughs> We've ended up inside the school. So here in the cellar, this is really just um, getting people used to the controls. Um, standard A, S, W and D. Um, you can use the cursor keys as well if you want. I'm Alexander Morovian. I'm the man who's making this um, uh, this place. And uh, when it's all finished and done properly, I'm going to re-record these films um, using a better camera, for one thing. Um, and I'll probably try and weave some kind of story into the films as well. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, for the moment, these are just placeholder films. But they do contain important information that you need to get through the building. So they're worth watching. Thank you. So, we meet again. The thing below me, um, oh, uh, with the glowy bits on, is called a fuel cell. And the thing over there, uh, on the table, uh, well that's called a terminal. You can use the terminal to wire up the fuel cell to, um, well, to other things in the building. But. The first thing I want you to do is to wire the fuel cell up to itself, like this. 
Okay, so this is just to get you used to the wiring interface. So we go up to a terminal, we press E to start wiring and we get this cursor. And there are basically two sockets on the fuel cell and we just got to connect one to the other. So I use the mouse for this. Congratulations, you've managed to wire the fuel cell up to itself. Now this has created something called a short circuit. Now you might be feeling quite pleased with yourself, but actually this is a really bad thing to do. It's going to burn out all my equipment. So I know I asked you to do it, but don't do it again, please. You can unplug it to stop the terrible noise and then go through to the next room. Okay, so now we encounter our first proper um, puzzle. There's a great big door blocking our way. So we're going to need to find a terminal. I'll we'll have, have a little look up here. And here we are. So this time we don't wire the fuel cell up to itself. We need to wire it up to the door. And we need to make sure that there are two wires going to get the electricity flowing. And we're out. Just to reinforce this idea, there's another puzzle that's almost exactly the same. Let's connect this up. And it looks like we might be blocked, but no, we can just get up this ladder and get out. inside the school. That's a bit annoying for you. Oh, looks like you're gonna have to work for your money, doesn't it, eh? Okay, so again, our route is blocked by that big door there. Um, the terminal's up on this ledge on the right. Um, so some people have had a bit of difficulty getting up to that ledge um, and basically the way to do it is just run to the right like this and as you get towards the end press and hold jump and right down and as long as you keep them held down you should do a nice big jump and also when you hit the ledge you will pull yourself up onto it okay let's just connect this up then Okay, again, another door blocking our way. Uh, this time there is an extra load of sockets up here. We don't actually need to use them. But just there to introduce you to the idea. In this room, actually, the fuel cell is already connected up to one of these sockets. So we've got a bit of choice about which ones we use. And this puzzle really is just to show the player that they don't need to use all of the sockets in a circuit, it's fine to just leave some open. Um, again, we've got a door blocking our way. It's sort of tempting to immediately come in and connect it up, but actually then we, uh, we lock ourselves uh, out from where we want to be. So really this puzzle is just showing the player that they don't necessarily need to use the first terminal they come across in a room. They might need to think about which is most appropriate. The thing you can see flowing through the wires is called charge. Now charge is like a fluid and it flows like water. It can flow slowly, like it is now, or it can flow really quickly like, um, oh yeah, like when you made that short circuit earlier, which, which I asked you to do, so, so that's fine. Charge, it flows through the wires like water. So one of the things I do at various points in the game is explain about various electrical concepts. But what I've tried to do is give people a chance to play around with the concept first and then explain it.
Okay, so here again, we've got to get up here, along here. Our route is blocked by a door. However, we're then going to have to come this way and then up this ladder to get out. So let's open the door. Well, this time we find that by opening the door, our route is blocked. So actually we need to go up to this terminal and disconnect the current. You may be wondering what this place is. Well, well it used to be a school. Like an, a normal school with, uh, with kids and classrooms that smell to farts and, uh, and teachers. They used to smell a bit too, actually. Anyway, I used to run it with my wife, Melissa. It was all very normal, actually. Okay, so uh, what's going on here? So quite a, a useful thing to do when you enter a new room is just find a terminal and enter wiring mode and that lets you see the whole room. Um, so it looks like here we've just got to get out of this, uh, this corridor by opening the door. And again, our path has been blocked so we need to disconnect it again. Okay, so again, our route is blocked here. Terminals only let you wire up things in an area that's close to them. When you're wiring things up, you'll see this area turn a little bit orange. It means that to get across this room, you're going to need to use more than one terminal. Okay, so let's just go to this terminal. You see the room is kind of divided into two different areas with this area being orange. So if I try and actually get a wire across this boundary, it's not going to go. And the door mechanism is on one side and the fuel cells on the other. So we need to connect this up to these connectors and then go through to the other side and use this terminal to wire it up to the fuel cell. school, uh, well, when it was um, a normal school, it ran for about, um, about five years, I think. But then Melissa, well, I ended up having to run it on my own anyway. And then things just fell apart. I was good with the kids. Uh, they, were, they were great fun, actually. It's the teachers. They were just never satisfied. Professor Moravian, we've run out of books and pencils and rubbers and everything. Professor Moravian, why haven't we been paid? Nightmare. So here we've entered another sort of room with multiple parts to it. As you've probably gathered by now, you can't wire up a machine with just one wire. You need the charge to flow into the machine through one wire and then out again and back to the fuel cell via a different wire. Now when you do this, this is called a circuit and the charge can flow round and round the circuit powering the machine. Hmm. It's getting late. OK, 
Okay, so even though people have been making circuits to get to this point, this is just reinforcing this notion that actually you do need the electricity to be, electricity to be flowing out of the fuel cell through the machine and then back again. Okay, so again, this is a multi-room puzzle, so I'm just gonna connect it up from the various different terminals. And the point about these puzzles is, again, to really reinforce the notion of a circuit. And there's basically lots of ways of wiring this up incorrectly, which will either create a short circuit or won't power the door. So you do need to think about what a circuit is and how you do it. So basically we need to get the door up and this is going to let us get out of here. Um, again, we're not actually blocked in. 